Okay, wall types in Revit are kind of a pain. They don't have some obvious 2x4, 2x6 constructed interior and exterior walls. But let's say that this new project is my house, or your house, and you have some other file, maybe from a classmate, maybe from a teacher, maybe from somewhere, maybe something you did earlier, like the shed, and you want to transfer these wall types, which you've created, to be, you know, 3.5 inch softwood lumber, wallboard on both sides, your basic interior wall, or you want, I believe I got this from the shed originally, um, all that 900 steps we did to get this wood shake siding, which looks nice, but then it's got our, it's got our OSB, it's got our wallboard on the inside, it's got our 2x6 construction. Um, what if we want to move those from one project to another? Well, again, this is my house, we're saying. Maybe I have walls already drawn. Um, and I want, but, you know, I don't want any of these metal studs, I don't want CMU, I don't want partitions, I don't really don't understand why they do this, but I want to bring in these wall types, so I'm in my, my house, I've got my other one open, go to manage, transfer project standards, there's all this stuff to choose from, right now we just need wall types. I'm going to check none and then go back and check wall types. And it brings it in now. What you should have noticed is up here it says copy from. And that's my shed or whatever this other file that I have. So now if I click on a wall I should have this might be called house exterior here. If I click on it, it will say all the stuff that I want. There's my wood shake siding. Whereas this one, maybe I want it to be that. Again, this is just what I called it, what it was called by this other person or this earlier file. It's not what we called it in our shed file, but you see how you can clearly see that this is a smaller interior wall connected to an exterior wall, which makes no sense, but for instructional purposes. So I'm just going to go to my view since I don't have it created yet. I'm going to change this to fine. I'm going to change this to realistic. And there's my wood shake siding connected to my interior wall. Basic wall generic. If you want to go in here and uh, create your own wall, if it's an exterior wall, you probably should start with an actual exterior wall. Maybe this wood shake siding. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm going to duplicate house exterior 2, sure, whatever. I'm going to edit this. I'm going to go into my wood shake. And what you can do in here is you can play around with the... Uh, there's no service pattern here because it's using this image. You can use a, a bitmap file to create your own siding style. You could invert your images. That's fun. Um, you could say... I don't want wood shake anymore. You could just pick something else. I know we used plywood before, but and we uh, duplicated it, and then you could edit that one without worried about you know doing that. Let's uh, you can play with your surface pattern. Do you want some kind of horizontal siding? Do you want the cut pattern to be something? This would be on a section view, I guess. I'm not going to mess with that. What I would like to do is get rid of that, but... Whoa. I don't know what I just did. Anyway, you can play around with your colors and you can make it... I think I'm frozen here. You can make it purple if you want. We're not worried so much about it being realistic siding because that's just too much work for what we're trying to accomplish. Um, you could just pick something. Uh, where is it? Default. There was a default. You can do carpet. But you could just pick one of these and you know, let's make it that color. It's transparent too. No, it's not. Okay. So anyway. 
And then one other thing I wanted to show you quick, totally unrelated, is when we're trying to show that we do have handicap accessible bathroom with that five foot radius or five foot diameter. Um, like you see here, how do we draw that? Go to structure, and then we're just going to do model lines. Model lines here, you can just draw any lines you want that are just model lines, they're not anything structural. And this is supposed to be. then you can annotate that on the annotate tab. Since we want the diameter, not the radius. And there we go.